Hi, this is Florian. This is one of two videos to explain you how to set up the mature mRNA counting in FishQuant. We implemented this as a two-step process where you first perform a pre-detection on a filtered image and then in the second step those pre-detected spots will be fit with a 3D Gaussian in the raw image. So how do we do the filtering? It is controlled here in this panel. We imp implemented this as a two-step convolution with a Gaussian kernel. First we convolve the image with a large Gaussian kernel to get a background image. This image will then be subtracted from the raw image. The resulting image will then, will then be convolved with a small Gaussian kernel to enhance spot-like features. The size of this kernel is expressed with a multiplicative factor of the theoretical size of the PSF that has been determined based on the experimental parameters. We found that those values work nicely for our images. You might have to adjust them slightly for your particular images. We provide some tools to define optimized parameters for that. Um, please look at the help file if you find that these parameters don't work well for you. To perform the filtering, you simply press on filter then. This will be relatively fast for those uh, images here. It might be slower for yours, so you might have to wait a few seconds. We can then look at the filtered image in more detail. The upper right corner you can select the filtered image. You can click on plot. You will see it overlaid with the outlines. You can disable the outlines, click on plot again. For more detailed inspection you can simply double click on this image. This will open another window where you now only see this image. You can zoom in and also change its contrast. We can do that in a way that we can really see nicely the individual molecules. If you move now with the cursor cursor over the image you see that down here is an update over the position and also the intensity. So you see this pixel here has a intensity of 100, 70, here around 60. So this gives us already an idea about the intensity range of our spots in the filtered image. We can then click on detect which will open an additional GUI that allows us to set up all the pre-detection parameters. Starting off this GUI might take a little while because a number of pre-calculations are done. So we now have here a GUI that's a little bit bigger than the screenshot, so we'll just move it up and down to show you what you have here. That allows you to define all the parameters for the pre-detection. We'll go with uh, step by step. Up here you define the size of a sub-region around each of the pre-detected spots that will be considered. It will be considered for the calculation of a quality score to judge the quality of this spot. And then also later if you want to fit it with a 3D Gaussian this is the size of the region around each spot that will be cropped and used as an input for the 3D Gaussian. We have an option here which is not necessary for this particular data set, but you can also detect the position on a smaller um, sub-region. This might be necessary for certain data sets if you have a very fine pixel grid, for instance. Also, by default, only spots are considered that are entirely within the image, especially for Z. If you have spots that are close to the border that you still want to consider, you can enable this option and also those uh, spots that m might only be half in the image will be considered. The first interesting plot that's shown down here is now a histogram where here you have an intensity threshold that will be used and here the number of detected spots. So basically this is a number of different intensity thresholds. We can say a spot has to have at least intensity 40 and then you can check how, num how many spots were detected. This plot has this characteristic shape. The higher intensity threshold, the fewer spots are detected. If you get two words in intensity, where you get a good detection, you see a small plateau, and then it really goes up for lower intensities. 
This plot can also be recalculated for the other intensity range. It works well for our images, but it could be that your images are much brighter. So you can define here the minimum intensity, which was 5, the maximum, which was 150, and the number of points on this histogram. We can set this just to show you how it works to 1500. Press apply. So you see now that intensity thresholds up to 1500 were tested, which are way too high for our experiment, but might be interesting for yours. So we go back to 150. You can then also show again the filtered image from within here to get an idea how bright your spots are. We already did that before. You know, for us it's around 50 for the lowest, so we can set it to 40 and analyze. So you see here now a plot that shows up where you see all the detected spots, an XY projection and an XZ projection. You can zoom in. Fishkant will by default remove all the spots that are close to the edge in Z and spots that are inside of a transcription site. By default we use a non-local maximum detection. We also have a different method implemented based on connected components. For details, again, look at the help file. Then we calculate a quality score for each of those spots, which by default is simply the standard deviation within the subregion that was uh, cropped around each spot. You can set a value here if you want, it's not necessary. What happens if you really over detect, you get a lot of false positives and those spots usually have very low values. So we can set here a value of 10 for instance to show you how this will look like. So you start seeing that we have more spots at the lower end of this histogram. So we could remove them by simply saying, okay, we want to have a quality stock core of at least five. What we found works best is a sensitive choice of both of those. So we don't want to over detect too much. So we set the intensity threshold as before 40 and in combination with a quality uh, score threshold we get a good detection. We can even go th lower here to 30. And we see that uh, we still have some room. So this intensity threshold we usually place somewhere in the middle of this plateau. Then we set an according quality score. It's optional. And then you can simply click on apply detection to all cells in image and those detection settings will, will be applied to all the cells that are present in the image. If you want to close this interface without doing anything, you can click on close without detection and nothing will be done. If you click on this, the pre-detection is finished as indicated below and now we see that the fit spots is enabled. This will be shown in the second part of this video.